guys any questions guys can you hear me she was saying okay so arena can you check your audio so other people can able to hear okay so let's see current topic Guys, today I was planning to discuss about uh, this exception handling as well as that yesterday I was showing some error right red symbol. So I was correcting that one, so, but uh, already time running 9.40. I have one more session, 10 o'clock actually. So, uh, so I will give that today's exception strategy and all. So once you got that uh, recording, yesterday recording, just go through it. So we'll explain once again that MMC. So, even that was he, Dharma was saying he is unable to download that. I will share the link all offline. Okay. So today we'll discuss about this exception strategy. What are the exception strategies we have? So how are you handling this exception strategy? We'll see. I'll give a brief uh, what is meant by exception and what, what is meant by error and all guys. I'll compare it to Java. So how it is working in Java. And how we'll work with mails or with the exception strategy we'll see. So there is a two terminologies guys. One is exception, another one is error. Okay, so can you hear all right? Rena, can you hear me? Okay, so there is a two terminology, one is exception, another one is error. So if you see here what was the difference between these two terminologies? So error, if you go for error, if you are getting any error in your application, okay, or even in your sample program or else your POC, then we should rectify it guys, until unless we can't able to compile the program, right? Either it's a Java or say either it's a means of flow, whatever it is. If you are getting an error, we should resolve it until unless we can't go ahead with this level. Means we can't able to build the program. Okay, so build the we can't able to compile your program so but whereas an exception if you are getting exception also we can able to go next level suppose for example I have a 10 statements guys I have a uh, statement 1 stmt1 semicolon so next one is stmt2 like this I have a stmt3 statement 3 like statement Four. Like that, I have a four statements, guys. If you see here, uh, suppose you are getting an error, line number one means statement one. You are getting an error. In this case, if you are getting an error, or line number one means statement one. What we need to do? We should resolve that error, guys. Until unless we can't able to execute these remaining three statements, like statement three, statement two, statement three, statement four, like that, we can't able to execute it okay so but whereas an exception if you get the exception in this uh, particular line number three right so what we need to do so we can handle that guys no need to do uh, no need to resolve that issue if you get an issue also we can handle it we can go ahead next level actually even statement four also will execute it but whereas in if you see any error in between the statement if we get it whatever the remaining statement of that after that error we can't able to execute it guys so means we should resolve it until unless we can't go ahead next level means remaining statement it won't execute it so there is a difference between exception and error if you see coming to error so we can say it's a syntax error guys example I'm trying to say uh, coming to errors one is syntax error guys if you did no oh, so syntax means so we have we should follow the ML expression right ML expression real expression along with syntax right so or else if you see coming to Java so every statement terminate ending with terminator right semicolon if you want if you are not following that kind of uh, syntax rules then you will get a syntax error guys so that time also we can't able to compile your program right 
until you rectify that issue. That is nothing but one type of error. That is a syntax error. Another one is network error, guys. Sometimes we face network errors. I mean, suppose uh, if in, in case of Java, we can say uh, memory overflow, guys. Suppose your JVM have generally mentioned for JVM 512M, 512M, 512MB kind of uh, memory will mention. Suppose uh, based on your uh, compilation, program compilation, Right, so we'll get sometimes memory overflow, guys. So that type of network issues also will get it actually. So that time we need to rectify that error. We need to increase the JVM memory size. Generally, these type of errors will come into the production side, guys. So because every day in production logs, right, keep on running, running and running. Right, we are storing uh, GBs of data in the uh, in the server, right. So sometimes what happened that uh, because of temp files, because of some memory leaks also you can say so because of that so uh, this type of network issues will come JVM will occupy JVM will go peak actually so it will occupy high memory then it will uh, get memory full kind of errors will get it guys so the type of network issues and then some uh, these type of issues generally will will get it so then we should rectify it then we have to go next level but whereas if we say exception coming to exception so generally there are two types of exceptions guys one is one is checkered exception checkered exception another one is another one is unchecked exception guys two types of exceptions checkered exceptions another one is unchecked exception what is meant by checkered exception what is meant by another uh, unchecked exception so some of the exceptions so will come in the compilation time also guys some of the exception will come in the runtime. So that is the difference between checkered and unchecked. Checkered means the exception will come in the compilation time. So that is nothing but a checkered exception. Unchecked exception guys. So the, uh, the exception will come under runtime actually. While running the program that time we will get it. So this type of issues we can say unchecked exception. Exception is nothing but an error guys. But we can handle the type of exceptions. But Whereas an error we should we should rectify it, we should oh, it will go next level. That's our main difference actually. Here coming to checked exception, what was the example of checked exception? So in mules of so what type of checked exceptions will get it? So checked exception. One second guys, Kishore calling me. Uh, we'll go ahead. So here is the thing guys, I am trying to explain about checked exceptions and unchecked exception. Checked exceptions are coming under comparison time and unchecked exceptions are coming under runtime. So for example you can say, uh, suppose uh, I am trying to connect AMQP guys. AMQP is the one of the connector, okay, one of the connector. So we can subscribe the queuing mechanism actually, that is one of the connector in the mute parameter. So in this we mention the we mention the configuration related to rabbit MQ. We'll see in future. So if any mismatch in the configuration, right? Mismatch in the configuration or else that uh, that particular MQP is not connecting, right? That the queuing mechanism unable to connect it. So that time we'll get uh, this checkered exception, guys. In compilation itself, it will give that error. Okay. So coming to, uh, we can say if you go to the Java, so something like that, we can see a file not found exception, right? So, and uh, uh, some, some of the exceptions will get in on uh, uh, compilation time actually. So like okay, file not found exception, I guess. File not found exception in compilation time, it will try to find out the uh, file. So it is unable to load that time, it will give file not found exception. So coming to unchecked exception, if you see unchecked exception, there is an arithmetic exception guys, so AE, AIE, arithmetic exception and then uh, so there is a null pointer exception, ENP, null pointer exception, okay and then uh, so other one is string index out of bound exception, array index out of bound exception, these are all coming under uh, you know runtime guys. 
so like this we have a two types of exceptions so again so if we consider uh, exception again two types actually so there is a built-in exception another one is uh, user defined exception guys if you go for built-in exception so we can able to uh, I mean existing exception like null point exception array index out on bound exception string index out of bound exception these are uh, coming under built-in built -in exception okay coming to user defined exception we can also create uh, some exception guys suppose uh, there is a scenario like uh, I want to check the user age if the user age is greater than 18 greater than 18 he is eligible for voting if the user age is less than 18 are equal to 18 so he is not eligible for meeting that kind of thing we don't have any built-in exception right so we have to we can able to create a proper exception right then we have to give it back to the user actually because you are not eligible for voting that kind of exception you can give it so that is nothing but a user defined exception guys so these are terminology about exception and then uh, uh, error actually here so that is the difference between them so uh, thing is I was clearly explaining actually what is the difference also if you get any error in the statement one we can't able to go ahead in the next level so if you get an exception we can continue it guys we can handle that exception you can go ahead next level so how to handle the exception how to handle the exception so <clears throat> there are two ways we can handle the exception guys so first way is there is a syntax called there is a syntax called try black guys so in the try black in the tri black so we can keep it hold the code inside the tri black actually I'm talking about Java here so there is similar way we will handle in the mule, mule, mule also so whatever the exception you are getting suppose here I'm writing like int a equal uh, b uh, something 20 slash 0 guys so which type of exception will get it will get arithmetic exception guys anything by 0 it will give arithmetic exception okay I'm getting arithmetic exception in the in the particular line so I have to catch that exception I'm trying to handle that exception guys we can say exception is a super class for all the exceptions in the Java I told you about two types of exception built-in exception as well as uh, uh, user defined exception okay so these two exceptions are under exception guys exception is the super class for all the classes in the Java okay so here we are getting arithmetic exception right so we, if you want to see that also you can display them you can whatever you want to uh, do with that uh, exception right you can display it system e that print stack trace that is a built-in method you can display that next one is there is a one more black finally black guys and the finally we can close the open statement guys suppose <coughs> suppose in the tribe black I'm doing some database connection so we should close the connections actually all the con uh, closing connections we have to do under finally black guys so here what I'm trying to say here if you are getting an exception it's, okay, it's like clearing all the variables in the pipeline not a variable all the variables actually whatever the open connections like the database connection like uh, input stream output stream did you heard about that input so, stream output stream whatever the open yeah. connections not variable not uh, Related that actually. What so, are the connections? Like when, say, suppose, uh, say, Venkat, you are using yeah. a variable called A, right? Yes. Integer. Uh, so, do we have to drop those variables? No, like, no, how do no, we no. drop those variables in Java? Do they carry value in further? Or? No, that's what here uh, automatically, whatever the objects, whatever the clearing happened in the JVM actually. So, that will take care. If you are, if you are not using, uh, after a certain time it will clear all these things suppose you are creating an object here suppose int a equal to or else some object I am creating some object object a equal to some new object in this Java what happened if you are creating an object so you are uh, after some time it is an ideal right after some time mm -hmm. it automatically garbage collection happened in the Java if you go for C okay, so it does yes. not consume the space or memory. Exactly. So after, I mean, a certain time only. After some time, so your JVM will take care that do all the garbage collection. If you go for CPP, we need to do. We need to use some finalized method. We need to do garbage collection actually. But in case of Java, garbage collection automatically happen uh, through JVM actually. No need to do anything. So if that object is an ideal certain time, automatically that object is got it. So I'm not using, suppose if until you are using, it is available that object. 
once you are stopping to use that that, uh, that particular variable or else object whatever it is so that automatically garbage collection happened no need to do anything from your end is it clear but here i was talking about different thing actually suppose in the tri black i was trying to write a uh, connection connection some con equal so i just create a connection database connection i created okay so it's an interface actually if you create a connection here right so that connection we have to close in the final lib lab so this is a syntax actually each tri black followed by catch black this is a tri black each tri black followed by catch black here okay each catch black followed by finally black here okay so here this is optional so there is not not mandatory actually so if you are doing any opening connections here like uh, file input stream buffer input stream if you are doing any uh, connection related thing suppose why i am talking about only that thing suppose i am trying to connect to one database here right so there is a connection pooling concept guys so if you are connecting you are not releasing the connection somebody is trying to connect the same database suppose they are giving a restriction only a pooling size is 10 they kept it suppose 10 people trying to access that database 10 people can able to access so they are not releasing the connection if 11th person is trying to access he can't able to get that actually that's what i'm trying to say you, you guys are clear right so we should whenever you turn your work we should close the connection actually otherwise the connection is still it is in uh, progress actually still it is in live other persons can't able to connect it actually so that type of things so we can close this here in the finally blank okay so in the java this is a way to handle that exception suppose in this case uh, after arithmetic exception in this in this first statement first line you will get arithmetic exception guys because anything by zero it will return arithmetic exception right after that i am just mentioning as a system dot out dot print ln okay print ln i am writing i am writing something welcome exceptions okay i am writing like this welcome exceptions so if you see this even if you are getting exceptions also exception also I am handling that exception that's why even this statement also will execute it actually but in this case suppose here you just remove this semicolon I just removed it but in this case we are getting an error in this particular line we are getting an error right syntax error until unless we uh, successfully compile successfully resolve that so this statement won't execute it guys but whereas in if you are getting exception also I can able to execute this statement so that's what I, I was trying to say first uh, here earlier okay so so here whenever you'll get the exception right arithmetic exception there is a catch block it will catch that exception guys whatever the exception it is suppose if you know that what type of exception we are getting you can keep it directly that arithmetic exception actually we have to write it completely i just keep it a brief a arithmetic exception if you don't know that what type of exception it is giving so you can keep it blindly exception guys why because whatever the exception in the java that is a super class is exception that's why so these are all under subclasses right so that is under exception only so that's why you can keep it exception directly here okay so that handle here suppose i'm getting one more exception guys once the system dot out dot printer and executing after that i'm giving some int uh, array size equal to some ar equal i'm just giving array size equal to some 10 guys my array size is 10 so here I am trying to add array uh, 12th element or else you can keep it 10 also because array starts from 0 to 9 right because 10 means 0 to 9 so starts from 0 to n minus 1. So array of 10 equal I am just keeping 1 1 12 is the I am trying to assign array of 10th value equal 1 1 2 guys. In this case what type of exception will get it? Array index out of bound exception will get it guys. You are clear? Now here I am getting a two exceptions. One is arithmetic exception. Another one is array index out of bound exception. In this case, how we'll do it? So there is one cache block only here. Whenever you'll get it, so this will handle here. Okay. So in this case, so there is a one try block followed by multiple catch blocks, guys. Multiple. So uh, based on your requirement, based on your uh, issues, right? So we can keep it multiple cache blocks actually. But here only one try block, so we can keep multiple catch blocks. So here also only one finally block. So like that, 
in our <coughs> meal software low similar case guys we can keep it multiple catch blocks based on our flow execution so based on your uh, suspects right wherever you are suspecting getting the issue you can handle accordingly you are clear guys so this has happened in the java so coming to mule soft so what are the exceptions strategies in our mule mule soft so if you see here in the palette there are different types of exception strategies guys i will try to explain one by one let me try to open the mule palette here so these are the exception strategies guys first one is choice guys choice exception is overall your application only one choice block guys overall your application only one choice block a choice exception you have to keep it under that we can keep it multiple catch blocks we can keep it number of catch blocks based on your requirement so there is no restriction for that so catch block is what was the purpose of that catch block here i was explaining in the java so here we are suspecting we are getting an arithmetic exception that that exception you you have to catch it under that you are trying to do some operation on that thing. Right? You are trying to, to uh, send back to the user or else you are trying to uh, uh, prepare a proper error message to give it to the user or something like that or else simply you are trying to display on the logger. Right? So that kind of things you can do it. Here also same thing guys, under choice exception strategy, you can keep it number of catch blocks. You can keep it number of catch blocks here. Okay. So in the catch block, so you, if you are suspecting a particular exception you are getting, we can keep it a condition guys so why it is going to uh, here only here i have a two exceptions right one is array index out of bound exception another one is ae arithmetic exception guys if you observe here whenever you get arithmetic exception it will jump here actually it won't go here because there is a condition right here whenever you are getting ae so then this catch block will execute it right so here here also same thing guys under choice exception strategy you can keep it multiple catch blocks Okay, multiple catch exception strategy in the catch exception strategy you can keep it multiple in that each catch exception strategy will give a condition kind of thing actually caused by this exception go in this in this catch block if it is caused by some sql exception so go to this particular catch block like that we have clearly mentioned each class catch block catch block condition guys so based on that it will go inside of the catch block inside of the catch block whatever the requirement suppose whenever i am getting an exception or else whenever i am getting a success i have to uh, insert one message into the queuing mechanism there is amazon sqs in the amazon sqs queuing mechanism i want to insert whatever the error whatever the success i am getting in my flow right i have to insert that message into the where amazon sqs that's what my requirement so whenever you get a particular exception right so that will go to the particular cache block in the cache block we have to implement that particular flow what was the logic for inserting the data into the amazon sqs that type of logic we have to keep it guys so hope you understood i will try to drag and drop i will show you guys so next one is custom exception strategy if you want to build in your own exception guys here i was saying about two types of exceptions right built in exception as well as uh, custom custom exception it means user defined exception right we see here i was trying to explain one example also if, if age is greater than 18 or else less than 18, this kind of things there is no particular exception if the, in this case a equal 20 slash 0 anything by 0 for this we have already exception built in exception so if there is no exception we can create our own custom exception strategy so next one is here uh, mapping exception strategy guys so what is the use of mapping exception strategy so uh, for uh, uh, for mapping purpose, we'll use it, guys. These are all, all and all exception and exception mapping, and then reference also. Reference also similar way only. So suppose uh, I'm getting exception particular location, right? I have to route it to. I have to uh, take that. Then I have to route it to somewhere else. I have to just refer to somewhere else. Like if you see here in this example, I just keep it a reference exception strategy here. So anything goes wrong in this particular flow. If you see this flow, anything goes wrong in this particular flow, where it will get it, it will go to the reference exception strategy, guys. So what you have to mention in the reference exception strategy? So I told you, right? So each and every uh, application contains only one choice block. We'll keep it the choice block, guys. So in the reference exception strategy, we'll mention that uh, choice exception strategy here. 
I just keep it name it as a some global exception strategy. So based on that, it will jump to the that particular exception strategy where you mentioned the choice exception strategy. So here, this is the choice exception strategy, guys. If you see here, under choice exception strategy, I have a this is one cache block, this is another one like that. I kept multiple cache exception strategies. Okay. So this is the reference exception strategy. Once you get that issue, it will jump to this choice block based on this uh, reference guys. It's like flow reference. What happened if you kept a flow reference? So wherever you kept that subflow, right? So that will jump to that particular subflow, right? So similarly, here also same thing actually. Okay. I'll quickly run and I will show you guys one exception. So tomorrow once again we'll discuss same thing. I'm trying to, here is the thing guys, here what I'm trying to do it. So we are already aware of database connections guys, right? So here is the thing, HTTP uh, connector, I configured it. After that, I kept uh, some payload here. In the payload, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to fetch destination dot trim guys. Observe here, destination dot trim guys. What is the functionality of this trim? It will uh, trim the spaces guys. You are aware of string functionality that is trim guys. So it will trim that any spaces there, it will uh, remove that spaces and all. So means if you observe here, if you're getting destination, then you can able to trim it, guys. If you're not getting destination, what will happen? So if you see when null pointer, will, uh, null pointer exception will come, so there is no length of the string, right? You are assigning string s equal to empty, right? So if you mention some string s equal to empty, string or a string name equal, some I just kept it as a within double quotes empty. But I'm trying to find out the sys, sys out, system dot out dot mental and I'm trying to display name dot length guys, L E N G T H length, right? So there is no method guys, then for this there is no open parenthesis and closing parenthesis. I'm trying to find out the length of that name guys. If you observe here, in this there is no string, there is no value at all. But you are trying to display that length of that string. That time what will get it? Null point exception guys. Here also I'm doing same thing. Destination, if there is a destination happily it will work. If anything, if you're not passing any destination, it will get uh, written some exception guys, null point exception. Because there is no value, but you are trying to operate on that. So that time you get null point exception. So next one is here, if you see database connection, so you people are aware of this, this configuration and all. So just for exception purpose, I kept it here, right? So just click the test connection. If you go anything wrong, we'll get SQL exception guys. I'll show you that except SQL exception also. Okay, so test connection successful. I'm just uh, removing that uh, database name here. Just let's try it. Try to hit it. So we'll get a SQL exception, guys. So in this case, I'm just intentionally I'm giving wrong here, right? Let's execute this one. I'm just uh, running as a debug mode. I will keep it uh, here also. So we'll try to run. machine got hanged guys I, I was at least I was trying to show this database connection today anyway guys I have one more session so we'll connect tomorrow okay now hello yeah.
guys will come tomorrow. We'll explain same thing tomorrow. So this database and uh, what type of exception where we'll get. Here we'll get three exceptions. Okay, fine. I got it. Go, you can Google it and we'll get it, or else I can share. That's what actually. If you if you can able to uh, find it and you can answer it, fine. Or else I will write the answers. Some of them are written at written it actually one or two. So ten fifteen questions are there around. Okay guys, thank you. Bye.